Hey guys, welcome back to episode 4 of my uh, Final Fantasy 16 playthrough, and let's carry on. So we're heading back to East Pool now. Uh, still super excited about this game. Very impressed so far. The story is so epic. Uh, voice acting is incredible. And it's just been a lot of very good moments. Um, Clive is now accepted. Oh, something might be happening here. Clive just accepted Togo, what is that it? he is Ifrit, so. Nothing good, I'll wager. Come on. I actually want to see what's behind this door that I remember seeing from last time. Maybe I can access it. Uh, I guess it's not available yet. Could be a side mission. I see fire, I see smoke. Imperial guards. What happened? Oh jeez. Imperials. You'll pay for this. I think they killed everybody. Thought you could escape us, did you, Brandon? <laughs> you were born a slave, and you'll <laughs> die one. Kill all the ducal dogs! Ducal dogs? Yeah, innocent people! In there, boy! That's enough! Get him, boy! Get him, boy! 
the toggle. Yeah, there, boy. Oh no, Martha. Sheltered them by Empress Annabella's command. My mother ordered this. Why, Clive? I know. You can wait. his own mother there's nothing she won't do I'm sorry lady Hannah you deserved so much better all of these people did Better than my mother. Ah, oh, we're too late, Gav. Clive. on the orders of the Duchess, eh? We knew East Pole was harboring bearers. Thought they were safe enough hidden up here, but someone must have let slip. If they'd have only come to us sooner, none of this would have had to happen. Fuck! My mother always did despise bearers. The way father embraced them when the other nations spat on them as slaves. The way an accident of birth gave them a power that others lacked. But why kill everyone? They meant no harm. They just wanted to be free. This world judges that a crime punishable by death. Which is why we're going to change it. Gav, we want to help. Thought you'd got your own stuff to be getting on with. We do. But it can wait. In that case, we should head back and tell Sid you've had a change of heart. 
He was always on it yet to join us. All right. And we'd best be quick. Last I heard, he was planning another excursion. What about the villagers? Oi! Can I leave you's lot to take care of things here? Of course. We'll make sure they get a proper burial. Thank you. All of you. When you're ready, then. That's so sad. Hmm. Who's that? Now, rats, lead me to your nest. Lord Kupka has a message for your leader. If only he knew where to send it. <laughs> to sit solo, then we have a lot to discuss. I heard Otto barking at his lot earlier. Look what the curl dragged in. Taking an interest, are you? And to sweeten the deal. Set a broken arm, soothe a cough, settle a stomach. But there is no remedy for what happened in Eastpool. My talents are worthless in the face of such cruelty. We're low on gig and toad oil and curial greens. Should I put an order in with Lady Karen? Keep running, or we can walk through this door. Not everybody has to say. This place is getting more crowded by the day. I tell myself the bustle's a blessing. There'll be time enough for quiet contemplation when I'm dead. So, did you find the answers you were looking for? I still don't know what to make of this gift, curse, or whatever it is I've been given. But there is one thing I can say for certain. I am a dominant, Ifrit. And there is nothing I can do to change that. It is a burden I must bear until my dying day. Spoken true. Forgiveness and in turn salvation can only begin with acceptance. It's a path we all must walk, no matter how colourful our histories. Sid, you once told me 
that you wanted to build a place where people could die on their own terms. I did. I've been thinking about that. Why not a place where people can live on their own terms? For 13 years, killing was all I knew. So obsessed with death that I never stopped to consider the lives of those around me. Lives that I see now were scarcely worth living. Be they bearers or beggars, most but march blindly to their end, never realizing that they too deserve a choice. And I dare not turn a blind eye to their suffering any longer. So, that's all link then, is it? That was the answer we found. The only one we need. I'll be expecting you both to pull your weight. And we will. <laughs> well then, with a sprinkle of fire and ice, <laughs> this plan of mine might just work. Ice and fire. What trouble are you looking to get yourself into now? The best kind. We're going to sneak into the Imperial capital and pay a visit to <laughs> Mother. Reunion. of our farmholds in the eastern provinces has succumbed to the blight. Without their yield, we will be hard-pressed to fill the capital's granaries before winter. If there is a capital by then, the black creeps closer as we speak. And yet you do naught but ball and bluster. If it is fertile land the Empire acquires, we need but look south. Uh, if you mean the crystalline Dominion's holdings, we are bound by mutual accord. Theirs is a neutral state whose borders we have sworn to respect. Gentlemen. Did we swear to see our people starve? Well, I really do think that... Uh, uh, yeah. Well, I... 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 The gates of Oriflam buckle at the flood of those come seeking refuge from the blight. If there is not grain enough to feed those within our walls, how, pray tell, will we feed those without? But instead of setting your minds to riddles such as these, you lock horns with an enemy from across the sea, sending our soldiers to the slaughter in their thousands. The Empire bleeds, and you sit here prattling like crones in a tea house. And you fancy yourselves leaders of men. <laughs> Sandbreck is naught without her citizens. We are but their servants. If their land is being wrested away, it is our duty to claim new lands for them. Your radiance! You cannot mean a war of conquest. That is exactly what I mean. It is time we expanded our dominion. This is the will of Great Grieger. There will be uproar. Then we must find a way to distract the citizenry. But how much will that cost? And what of our legion? Shall we raise the furs? Well, someone will have to contend with the Dalmex. I will not keep you. You all have much to do.
Where is my son? The Lord Prince is currently garrisoned at the Strait of Orthe. If it please you, I can send word requesting his immediate return to the Holy Capital. That won't be necessary. Tell him instead to see to his wounds. Bahamut's strength will be needed again soon. As you command. Okay, so this is where the prince is from. The dominant can turn into Bahamut. I must have misheard. You mean to tell me that the mother crystals are the reason the world is dying? Are you mad? I have been called that on occasion, <laughs> but no, not today. We've all seen it firsthand. Empty wastes where once were green meadows. Land drained so dry in its ether, not even the rats remained. But where was it all gone? I spent years searching for an answer until I saw it standing right in front of me. There, in the self same crystals, we look to for their so called blessing. Flowers to conjure magics. Answer by drawing ambient ether from the air. And where do these crystals come from? That's easy. They're mine from the mother crystals. They're one and the same. Although, admittedly, this air fits more easily in the pocket. But the mother crystals are massive, some as large as mountains. So you see the problem. Imagine just how much ether can be drawn by something that size. As to where it's all going, mind, well, I can't know everything, can I? We are told that the mother crystals are divine. Their ether a gift from the heavens. Or aliens. <laughs> for centuries, nations have fought and fallen for want of that gift. If what you say is true, how did no one else see it? Says they didn't. Maybe the truth was inconvenient. Inconvenient to whom, exactly? The higher ups? The gods themselves? So now you want to do something about the crystals? And what? We're not helping bearers and dominance anymore. I didn't say that. I made a promise and I intend to keep it. But if we continue down this path, there's only one fate that awaits the realm. And we can't very well set our people free if they're all lying dead in a blighted ditch. Not if we want to create a place where they can live on their own terms anyway. It sort of defeats the purpose. So, if we have to bring the old world crashing down in order to build us a new one, what say you? Are you with me? I suppose it's about time I repaid your faith. just said I. But it's nice to have you aboard all the same. What have I got myself into? I'm going to need more than a few potions for this. <laughs>
send a message, most likely. Go on. You've lost a letter. Nothing too important, I hope. Not just a letter. I lost everything. There's a hole in my damn pack, and fool that I am, I didn't bloody notice. It can't be that bad, surely. How could it be any worse? I'm a courier. I carry things. If I can't do my job right, then what am I good for? Nothing, that's what. I buggered it right up. That means no herbs for the infirmary, and no fresh meat for our cooking pots. Worst of all, that letter I lost? It was for Sid. A letter he's been waiting on for days. Maybe if you retrace your steps. I'd scour storm from coast to coast if I could, but there are curse breakers in the field, counting on my arrival. No, I'll just have to own up to Otto and Sid. They're gonna skin me alive. <laughs> Fine. Tell me where to look. Are you serious? Thank you. It sounds like the hideaway could use those supplies. So, where should I start? Gotan's bales, perhaps? I took a tumble in the bushes when I was passing through. There's a chance my pack might have caught on something. If you can find everything I dropped, you'll be doing us all a favor. And if you can find Sid's letter, you'll be saving my life. If it's there, I'll find it. Wonderful. Now, I have to run if I'm to make my next delivery in time. I trust you can find your way to Gotan's bales. Oh, and hurry, will you? Sid doesn't like to be kept waiting. I'm sure he doesn't. The letter won't last very long out in the elements. I should make the sandbreak as soon as I can. in a world of my own. I'm worried about my friend, you see. He left some time ago and hasn't returned. You know what it's like out there for a bear out on his own. Why leave the safety of the hideaway? For coin. Sad though it is, our need outweighs the risk. The hideaway can't survive on goodwill alone. And though Karen does what she can, her coffers aren't bottomless. Wait. You were a soldier you know, in the Imperial Army. I was. Then I ask a favor of you. I'm too old to be traipsing hither and yon. Will you go and find him for me? I'll do what I can. Oh, thank you. What can you tell me about your friend? His name is Randall, and I suspect you'll find him in Lost Wing. He's been working for Quinton, the tavern people. He'll know something, I'm sure. I'll speak to him. Safe travels, my friend. And thank you again. I wonder if it's in the same location. Yeah, no, oh, somewhat. Oh, it is. Sandbrick.
right, let's try to find those uh, missing items. No, oh, another right there. <laughs> He said his pack might have split while he was passing through the bales. I better keep my eyes open. Good. Looks like I'm in the right area. supplies I doubt he could have fit much more in his pack still no sign of Sid's letter though I've come this far might as well ask around A little overdressed to be picking grapes, aren't you? Are you here for Master Quentin? I'm looking for a letter someone dropped nearby. And I suppose you've seen it. Can't say I have, sorry. Well, if you do... Wait, I did pass a dog with something in its mouth a little while back. Could have been a piece of paper. No idea if it was your letter, but you never know. Which way did it go? Towards Lost Wing. Seemed well looked after to me. Dare say someone there's been feeding it. To the village then. Thank you. in the village entry is no small task. There's plenty of unsavory sorts in these parts looking to get their thieving claws into what's ours. It's looking to be a fine harvest this year. Salted and smoked. <laughs> Good dog. It seems we have our culprit. Sorry, boy. Oh, he's cute. Someone's waiting for this. But he's waiting long enough already. Hopefully this will keep our career out of trouble. A whole day on the line and they're still not dry. What will we do for supper? How did the growth smell? That'll be enough for today. We don't need you risking the curse for a barrel of shad. I like bears. I mean, they're so useful compared to, you know, normal people. Oh, no, it's this. Oh, I think I was here before. See what's behind that door, wouldn't you? You're not on my watch. You'll 
find naught but the humble dwellings of our good citizens down here, both bearer and otherwise. And there are some who might not appreciate an outsider poking his nose in. Alright, buddy. of light and dark to finally drive the royalists from our shores. Pity it came at such a price. They say the fields of Bellinus were black a full fortnight with all the ravens. If it isn't Sid's young protege. To what do I owe the pleasure? I'm looking for a bearer called Randall. I hear he's been coming to you for work. He was expected back at the hideaway some time ago. A friend of his asked me to check on him. Randall, you say? The porter. Yes, yes, I know him. And I can't say I'm surprised if he has been delayed. I gave him enough to do. Though, thinking about it, he should probably have been back by now. I'll go and look for him. Where was he headed? He was to meet an associate of mine to the south of here, on Lorbert's Pass. I do hope nothing's happened to him. Be sure to let me know, Clive. Okay, sir. <laughs> you all right? Hang it, man. Thank the gods. You're one of us. We were attacked. Beastmen on the road. 
Randall knew he didn't play the hero, but <coughs> Reckless Sod insisted on drawing him off. Where did this happen? Further down the road, in the clearing. Please, you have to see that he's safe. I'll do what I can. You go back to Lost Wing and tell Quentin what happened. Side. I'll speak to Quentin. Setting fast. Ah, there you are. My man told me what happened. And? I can't help but notice you're alone. Damn it. 
I feared as much. He's not far from the south gate. I trust you'll do right by him. Of course. I'll send someone right away. I knew he was brave. But I didn't know he was reckless. Poor fool. Had you known him long? A while. I liked the fact that he didn't shy away from dangerous work. And he liked what I paid. Because it helped keep the hideaway afloat. I'll tell Sid what happened here. I expect he'll be none too pleased to learn of Randall's fate. And I suppose you're none too happy either. For your trouble. back to the hideaway and thankfully Otto hasn't seen me yet. I, I don't suppose you, um... Found the things you dropped. I did. I was so sure they'd be gone. And the letter? Only a little worse for wear. skulking about in the shadows for me then <laughs> and all thanks to you losing those supplies is one thing but if Sid had found out about that letter is it about curse breaker business <laughs> if only it's from his daughter she's off studying in Canver and her letters are all that keeps Sid sane while she's away he never mentioned a daughter well, he's a busy man and thanks to you, he won't be wasting his time smiting careless couriers with leaven boats. So I'd say you did us both a service. Here, for your troubles. If there's anything you're wanting from Sid, today's the day. He'll be sweet as honey once he gets his hands on this. <laughs> mother hey goots Clive you're all right I thought you might be oh. <laughs> so what God's forsaken corner of the realm is Sid dragging you off to this time or a the holy capital and what business would you lot having? On second thoughts, I don't want to know.
nothing here really that I need or want. Speaking of Oriflam, I hear the trading routes leading south have seen more than double the usual traffic. If you ask me, some at Fowl's Brewing, and it ain't tight as Borbile tea. <sighs> Just go and see Otto, will ya? Alright. So you really go through with it. Since been talking about bringing down a mother crystal, since I've known her. But that's all it's ever been. Talk. He's convinced it's the right thing to do. God. We'll be leaving for I the think capital. Start by taking that down. <sighs> well, you couldn't have picked a better moment. You're so big. Seems the eye in the royalists gave him wasn't enough to dampen old Sylvester's spirits. His legions are on the march again. This time, due south. Another war. All as the great Grieger wills it. Bloodthirsty little miss, that one. Well, it's good for you, innit? Still, it might work to our advantage on this occasion. Wars breed chaos. On the front lines, and at home. With a fair wind behind them, a handful of like-minded ne'er-do-wells could melt into the back alleys of Oriflam. No trouble. Is making it to the capital that's the problem. The checkpoint. That's right. Anyone travelling in or out of Oriflam has to go through Northridge. Lucky for you, I might just know of a way. There's. Well, no, not that. <laughs> that gets you an audience with the Dane. And it's the Dane who'll see you safely through Northridge. I'll send the stylus in the morning. Let her know you're coming. We go way back. This is a true friend of the cause. I'm sure you'll get on like a house on fire. That's good of you, but... Who is this dame, and where will I find her? She's the proud proprietress of Northreach's foremost house of ill repute. The Vale. And she's quite a woman, if you know what I mean. A woman. Right. <laughs> Don't go blind and over your charm now, lad. I'll be expecting a full report when you get back. Alien reports. Alien reports are available for viewing by speaking to Gott. At the Inlet Port Counter in the Hood of his Mess, these reports compiled by the Chris Breakers contain information on quests currently available across Valestia. Okay. I suppose that's everything. Not to find Gav. Oh, you're the new lad, aren't you? Goat at your service. Well, at the hideaway service, anyway. Otto's put me in charge of reading through the reports sent in by our allies and picking out any problems that might warrant the attention of the curse breakers or any other willing volunteers. And there's no shortage of problems, I can tell you. <laughs> well, maybe I don't have to. I'll warrant a strapping lad like you who's got people begging him for help wherever you go. Anyway, if you're ever interested in taking a look over the list, just say the word. Reckon you could probably tick off the odd thing here and there. They say little acts of kindness are their own reward. But if that ain't enough, these have got proper bounties on them and all. Me? The way I see it... So, what'd you say? Anything catch your eye? I 
miss him. I've seen your face before. You're a friend of Martha's. Help us, I beg you. Help you with what? Bandits in the Golden Stables. They're waving their swords around. I think they're gonna kill someone. When I saw what was happening, I slipped out the back. I should have stayed, but oh, please help them. All right. I'll see to your problem. Oh, thank you. How many were there? I was out of the door too fast to count. They looked a nasty bunch, though. Be careful in there, all right? Ha! Golden stables, my ass. <laughs> all Martha's hiding back here is coppers. That's a fine sword, friend. Heavy, though, I expect. What say we relieve you of it? Try. Get him, lad. I want that blade. Let's get this over with. Stay down. Sick of toggle. Sick of toggle. Oh, you know what? I haven't upgraded my abilities in a while. <laughs> I forgot. I'll be keeping my blade, thank you. There he oh, is. Good. She's alive. The hero of the Golden Stables. People will think twice about pushing us around again, thanks to you. You're lucky you were nearby. You good cowards wouldn't have dared set foot in the place if I'd been here, of course. But you weren't. I thought you told me you had someone watching the place. The Blood Axes keep an eye on the tavern, yeah. When they're not busy keeping the peace, that is. I've spread them as thin as they'll go. The Empire might be in charge, <laughs> but that don't mean they care to keep us safe. If it weren't for the Blood Axes and me, merchants won't come near these lands for fear of what might happen to them. I see. Then you do Rosaria a great service. Just as you did today. You're a useful man to have around. Here. And there'll be a mug of something tasty waiting for you whenever you next stop by. Right. We've got work to do for to make this place presentable. You best be going before I arm you with a mop. Yeah, you? you weren't doing your job. Arthur was singing your praises. Ah, takes a brave man to march into danger out of the goodness of his heart. You have my respect. A Rosarian salute. Well, what is it they say? Old habits die hard. 
I trust you won't be reporting me to the Vice Reen. <laughs> if we'd had a few more like you about, perhaps the Rosfields might still... <laughs> Listen to me rambling on. Thank you again, and, uh... Take care of yourself. Wow, well, 1600. Okay. Ooh, I like that move. to the other one. I think there was two here. Ah, oh, you're Sid's man, if I'm not mistaken. Couldn't trouble you for some assistance, could I? It depends. What do you need? Some new bearers from Oriflam just arrived, and it cost Master Quinton a pretty penny to convince their owner to part with them. Man must have been a bloody tyrant. Can't get a peep out of them. Try as I might. They're probably terrified of you. <laughs> You're probably right. They say it'd take a bearer like yourself to open them up. So, will you have a word with them? Help them settle in? I can try. That'll do me. Tell them they're safe, and that if they need anything, they just have to ask. I'll let them know. Appreciate it. They're sitting over there, taking a long overdue breather, it looks like. people like us for speaking our minds truly I'm hungry 
That's just the two we're starving. Wait here. I'll fetch you something from the tavern. <laughs> Thank you. That won't be long. You stay here and rest. Setting fast. They'll all be back from the vineyard soon. If you've something to ask, ask. It is a rare day. And for what? What is there to know? That is all. Can I have another cup, Teddy? There'll be none left for me. <laughs> I'll have two plates of whatever you're serving. Sorry. We've enough mouths of our own to feed without tending to the wants of outsiders. It's not for me. It's for some new arrivals. Oh, my apologies. I didn't see the mark. So you're a comrade. Well, in that case, you may have whatever you require. Take all the bread and wine you want. That's really all it takes. One look at the innkeeper's mark. Of course it is. I do as Master Quinton commands, as do we all. And Master Quinton commands that none of his favored guests be left wanting. Well, don't keep our new comrades waiting. Take what you need and see that they eat their fill. Hopefully this will be enough. So it took a tilt between the Wardens of Light and Dark to finally drive the Royalists from our shores. Pity it came at such a price. They say the fields of Bellinus were black a full fortnight with all the ravens. Brother, did you see? That bearer spoke to a master. What manner of place is this? <gasps> yeah. Bread and wine from the tavern. May we? Truly. Now burp. <laughs> Such plenty. Never in all my days. Brother, this place is like a dream. We sat and no one shouted. We ate and more was offered. I know. I can't believe it. You're free now. The next time you're hungry, you need only ask to be fed. Thank you for everything. Sucks. What happens to us now, brother? Nothing bad, I promise. Not ever again. Yeah, live your lives. 
You're free now. But how did the grocer know his daughter? I like all these accents. Everybody sounds so funny. Master Quinton will never forgive me if I don't save that crop. Oh, maybe I can access that door where that one lady is. I, I, I want no trouble. Wait, wait, that's... Oh, glory to Grieger. You were the hanged man. I took you for a rogue. If you're a friend of Master Quinton's, then perhaps you'll help me. His vineyard, Lost Wing's pride and joy, has been beset by a plague of giant wasps. And you need someone to solve your pest problem. I do indeed. I've never seen them so far from the forest, nor so mean for that matter. I suppose the smell's gotten worked up. And little wonder, this'll be the finest crop we've ever known if the fiends don't eat it first. I tried chasing them off myself, but they won't flee from the likes of me. And if I don't bring those grapes in for pressing soon, Master Quinton will have my guts for garters. You look like you can handle that blade of yours. Will you put it to use for a comrade in need? Please, rid us of these wasps so I can be about the business. Yeah, all right. <laughs> all right. I'll see to it. Oh, thank you. You'll find them over at Gotan's Bales on the edge of town. And hurry, Lostwing needs those grapes. You'd like to see what's behind that door, wouldn't you? Mm. You're not on my watch. Yeah, these aren't the most exciting missions, to be honest. from God of War Ragnarok better. Each mission was unique and it had a purpose. It uh, also contained a lot of lore to help flesh out, you know, more of the main story. And I was never bored of any of those missions. It was, it was such a good game. Not to say that this game isn't, you know, as good, but I just... I really feel like these side missions now are kind of lacking and they're kind of just fillers to, you know, that must be the make the game and make the pro um, if you want, shouldn't give me too much make the experience longer. Which is fine, but at the same time, you know, I prefer something more enjoyable. You know what to do. Get him. But the combat's amazing. I love it. Really well done. Fast, fluid. Get him, boy. Like the old school action games from before. You know what to do, boy. I 
Those wasps won't be interfering with your harvest anymore. Oh, thank you. Master Quinton would have had my head if I'd lost the crop. I'd say you've earned a reward. Our Gotan Druge fetches a handsome price among the rich and powerful of the realm. We use that money to keep our comrades fed and imperial wolves from our door. The vineyards were Master Quinton's idea. He wanted to give bearers a place to work, a place where they'd be safe. Well, he certainly seems to have done that here. I'm glad I could help. I'll see that he hears of your kindness. And once this vintage is ripe for drinking, there'll be a glass or two raised in your honor. <laughs> Okay, that's the last of the side quests. Someone's in a hurry. Just following orders. Funny, I never took you for the time. <laughs> Can't all be as obedient as you, Gav. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, fine day for a little mischief, wouldn't you say? Is this all of us? Actually, Gav won't be coming. Just the three of us, then. Drake said is the keystone of the Empire. Oriflam's in chaos, yes, but that doesn't mean we can march an army through her gates. The fewer our numbers, the better our chances of going unnoticed. And should that plan fail, well, we have our icons to fall back on. Mm. <laughs> See it, I... I don't know if I can. If Reed still seems to... Come and go as he pleases. Ordinarily, Prime and Icon comes naturally to a dominance. But then, you are no ordinary dominance. Well, he's still got the blessing of the Phoenix, doesn't he? Not to mention what he sucked out of Garuda. And did I ever tell you about how he was once the greatest shield in Rosaria? You know, I reckon he could probably cause a path out of the capital on his own if need be. Let's try not to find out. We're less likely to be spotted if we travel separately. I'll meet you in Northridge in a few days. You two behave now. So, we're meeting in Northreach. And will I find Sid and Jill before this dame finds me? In case you were wondering, the boys finally cleared the road to Northreach. But there's no need to hurry, is there? I can think of a few reasons you might want to linger another night or two. <laughs> well, the siblings are gone.
changes too when he speaks. That's crazy. Caboose, I want one. Come, I can't ride one yet. Friends in the south. It all smells so delightful. Give me one of those guys. Oh, that a Give plum me. for the apple of your eye. Keep your hands to yourself. No one will buy anything that's been served by a branded touch. <laughs> With reds, whites, the right scales, meat, ciders, berries, murrays. The fruit. 
roots not getting any fresher. Welcome, welcome. Another song. Come back again. You want something, you come back with your master. I won't sell to some stray branded. Oh, found it. Each one is handcrafted from. A moment, my lady. A moment. <laughs> I doubt you could afford even that much of my time. Branded. My mistake. Mm -hmm. No, mine. Upon reflection, you don't have the scent of a branded about you. The flowers. Otto always did know how to please me. More than Sid ever did anyway. Do you think you could please me, Clive? <laughs> You're the dame. Let us leave such impersonal titles to my less preferred, Cleonta. You can call me Isabel. Otto assured me I could trust you. I can trust you, can't I? You can trust me, yes, but... Where's Jill? <laughs> Why would you... Help you? Because that's what we do. Long ago, Sid did me a kindness when no one else would. I have never forgotten that. Without it, I would not be where I am today. And so, I make it a point to do the same whenever possible. Which brings us here. To the final obstacle between you and whatever it is you seek in the holy capital. I fear the guards are not likely to let a masterless bearer pass unmolested. Unless. Unless. <laughs> Unless, of course. His master deigned to appear. Yes, <laughs> that will do nicely. But I shall expect a favor in return. Wait, what? You're on the hook now, buddy. You there! The right to right confiscate any objects. What the hell are you doing? Tut tut. We cannot have people thinking I tolerate disobedience from my branded. <laughs> The men who gave me this are no more my masters than you are. But it's not as if I can hide it. From the moment you acquired it, that brand has done naught but take. But today, it is going to give you exactly what you want. Just play along. Madame, back to the vial already. But of course, we must make ready to welcome you, my dear. And who might this be? Why, my new escort. The streets aren't safe for a girl, what with all the royalists about. <laughs> Don't work him too hard. Well, that rather depends on you now, doesn't it? I'll see you all at sunset. Oi, hold up. Oi. <laughs> Another fucking branded. Oh, you're lucky you're with the dame. 
Get out of my sight, filth. That wasn't so bad. Wasn't so bad. They might have recognized me. But they didn't. And even if they had, they wouldn't have done anything about it. The gentlemen of the garrison are some of my best customers. We have an arrangement. As do you and I. Now, if you'd care to follow me, we can speak more at the Vale. Doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. her company. Tell them she is feeling unwell. Madame, you look stunning. As do you, my dear. Shall I have one of the girls draw a bath? That won't be necessary. Clive, my darling. Welcome to the Vale. Thank you for seeing me through the gates, my lady. I am in your debt. Well, that was the whole point, wasn't it? And I told you, it's Isabel. Whatever wound you so tight, I wonder. It's certainly not Sid's influence. You, uh, mentioned a favor. What is it you'd have me do? I don't want to keep my companions waiting. If you mean Sid and the girl, you needn't worry. They have yet to reach the checkpoint. Yes, Otto asked me to help them as well. But to answer your question, I need you to find someone for me. One of my girls. Tatienne has been gone for several days now, having left no word of explanation. And I've begun to fear the worst. I feel as if I've spent my whole life searching for people. Though I can't say I'm any good at it. I trust you'll do your best. Oh, and take this. Proof of that trust. And hopefully enough to keep prying eyes from looking too closely at that handsome face of yours. Now, I have matters to attend to at the Iron Flagon. If you find anything, ask for me there. Side missions just opened up. Yeah, I'll hold off. <laughs> you wear the dame's brooch. She must trust you. Enough to have me look for one of your colleagues. A woman by the name of Tatienne. She's still missing then. Oh, if only I'd comforted her. You saw her before she disappeared? The day before. She was in tears. She'd lost her comb, a gift from the dame. It wasn't anything fancy, but you could tell it meant the world to her. You see, Tatienne was an orphan, and she looked upon the dame as a mother, as do we all. So she was upset. And I didn't lend her much older. But perhaps someone else did. Tatienne shared a room. Her chambermaid may have seen something. She's over there, sitting by the pond. Thank you. Let's see what our chamber may can tell us then.
So you're the new escort the girls have been talking about. And you've already been sent off on an errand, eh? Poor boy. You'll be knackered before the real work begins later on tonight. I'm told you share a bedchamber with Tatian. Did she say anything to you before? Before she went missing. Only that she needed to meet with someone. She did mention a name, but I know exactly who she meant. You do? Lad from the garrison. Annoying little shit. <laughs> Spent every gilly earned on Tatien and picked fights with anyone else who tried to buy her time. Followed her around like a lost puppy. Tatien was flattered at first, but it didn't take long for her to get scared. She thought about saying something. But the dame was so proud of her for how much she was bringing in. She didn't want to let her down. This man from the garrison. Did you ever see him? Of course I did. He tried to sneak into our room enough times. Slimy Sod's got a scar over one eye. Claims he got it in battle. You've been very helpful. Don't let him get away with this. Find him, and you'll find her. The man from the garrison. Seems a trip to the barracks is in order. I haven't seen you around the bay of late. That's the day done then. Drinks. Heard the bones fell favorably. To the veil then, is it? What are you thinking? I'm looking for a man with a scar over his eye. Looking for a man? Does this look like a brothel, Brandy? Fuck off! Hold your tongue. Where's the dame's brooch? One word from him and the Vale's daughters will be barred for us for good. <sighs> There's only one man in the garrison with a dodgy eye. His name's Yannick. I haven't seen him around lately, though. On account of him being in war. Yeah, Yannick left a few days back. Said he had dealings with a merchant there. The dame, thanks you. Moore is the last village on the road to Oriflam. I should let Isabon know where I'm headed. Let's march again. <sighs> That's what we signed up for. You bear good tidings. That remains to be seen. Oh, Tatian, you could have told me. This Yannick. The soldiers I spoke to believe he's in the village of Moor. According to them, he claimed to have some business with a the merchant there. But that wouldn't explain his continued absence. And you plan on traveling to Moor to ascertain the truth? Isn't that what you want? Oh, it, it is, but I fear sending you there may cause more harm than good. The people of Moor are rather set in their ways. You'll find they have little love for bearers, and they will not hesitate to report one such as you to the constabulary. There is a man in Moor who owes me a favor, more than one, in fact. His name is Bertrand, and he works at the stables. Tell him I sent you. I shall return as soon as I find something. Oh, there's two more. That's a lot of side missions. <laughs> Big mother crystal. There's enough 
for today, Branded. treated here. If the people of Moor are as intolerant as Isabel says, it's no wonder the Empire never sent my unit here. Are you, Bertrand? The dame sent me. Sounds about right. Only time I hear from her is when she wants something. Well, go on then. What is it? One of her courtesans has gone missing. And I need to find her. A soldier who may have information on her whereabouts is rumored to have come here to meet with a trader. Many traders stop to peddle their wares on their way to the capital. But only one has been seen quarreling with a soldier. Is he still here? The trader? Oh, yeah. Stubborn sod stood his ground till a soldier got tired of shouting for what I hear. If you seek him out, keep your head down. Fact is, folks round here would sooner hang a branded than help him. And that's even with the dame's brooch for protection. Understood. Weren't expecting any new branded until the new moon. You don't think he's a deserter, do you? What's this? A branded? Where's your master? Must I call for the constable? I come to you from Northreach, at the behest of the dame. Perhaps you've heard of her. Oh, why, of course I have. I am the good lady's servant. Oh, oh, what is it that she requires of me? Rumor has it you were seen arguing with a soldier some few days ago. A soldier with a scar over his eye. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, that's right. Uh, he had a comb which he <laughs> claimed was an antique. Said he wanted to trade it for a newer one. But although it was an antique, it most certainly was not, as I told him. And nevertheless, he insisted that it was of great value and was quite vehement about my appraisal. I stood firm, however, and for all his bluster, he still purchased a new comb, albeit an inexpensive one. And do you know where he went after that? My customers aren't usually in the habit of telling me whither they are bound, but as it happens, this one did. Yonder ruins, strange as it may sound. My thanks. Not at all. I would do anything for the day. Anything. Uh, be sure and tell her, won't you, that I was helpful, I mean, most helpful. Smells of death here, Torgo. Yep. I don't think she survives. We can't let them get any closer to the village. Oh, I think I see a body over there. Yeah. It's both their bodies. Sick of the 
have been busy, but the blood is long dry. So it is you, Tatian. If that's true, then the body next to hers will be Yannick's. The girl Yannick went off to sea every night. You said her name was Tatian. You. Yeah. Did you follow me? Now, why would I do that? Unless you think I'd have good reason to. But no. I'm sent to find Yannick. By the looks of things. And I have. You both found who we were searching for. Yeah, he was a jealous sod. Couldn't stand the thought of his woman with someone else. Then one day he sees her with a new comb. Thinks she's got herself a new galant. Tells the garrison he's going to find the man and kill him. We know it's all talk, but then he disappears off to more for some dealings and doesn't come back. If you mean this comb, it was a gift from the dame. <laughs> if only Yannick could bother to ask, eh? He might not be rotting on a hill. I think he meant to ask us something else. He stole the old comb and bought her a new one. In the hope they'd wed. Wed? Hmm. Where would they have gone? Certainly not back to Northreach with a dame waiting. And we all know what happens to deserters. Tell the dame I'm sorry for her loss. When the lads come to collect Yannick's body, I'll see that Tatian is delivered to the Vale. Is that wise? Oh, there won't be any covering up this mess. The most we can hope for is that the dame doesn't hold it against us. Speaking of which, I saw her in Moor just now. Could you tell her what happened? Might sound better coming from you. I need to tell Isabel. Perhaps the comb will give her something to remember Tatien by. Message that he I mean, I could have seen to it, lady. Of course you could, had it not been personal. You are still in one piece, I see. You will be pleased to hear that your companions have arrived. They said they would meet you at a little chapel to the east of here. Thank you, but you need to have come all this way just to tell me. I was on my way to see you. You, you found her then. Let's see. My dear Tatiana. 
Monsieur. It is by no means uncommon for a client to fall for a courtesan. Especially a client who's young and far from home. But rarely do such tales have happy endings. I found this with Tatien. I believe it was yours. Thank you for returning it. I shall see that it has a place on her pyre. I should go. Before you do, I have one last gift. A token of my thanks. The veil counts among its patrons several high-ranking officers of the Imperial Army. According to one of the looser-tongued gentlemen, it would appear that the legions are planning to march south. Or to mention the same thing. Oh. But did he mention that it was all of the legions? This is no mere skirmish. Were I to guess, I'd say the Emperor planned to abandon the capital. But that couldn't possibly be true now, could it? Take care, Clive. I will. And thank you again. Alright. Had another branded drop in the field yesterday. Now that we get these side quests over with. She's lost. Please, can you help me look for her? I can't promise I'll find her, but I'll try. Describe her to me. She has beautiful white hair. She lets me stroke her when I'm sad. She's ever such a good girl. So quiet and kind. And she likes walking in the wheat. <laughs> I know the fields are big, but she's never got lost before. Oh, she must be starving too. She hasn't eaten anything since yesterday. It is my job to feed her. In that case, let's not keep her waiting. That's a lot of field to search. With a little luck, someone might have seen her. Savaging my boy. Well, don't just stand there gawping. Rescue him. All right. Where is he? My. I see they've sent me a branded with a spine for a change. He's over that way, towards the coast. Go and see that you kill the beast. Someone whose son's in mortal danger. He didn't seem all that worried. <laughs> Something's not right here. I need to be careful. You work these fields. I need to ask you something. Hmm. A branded. And an outsider at that, judging by the lack of manners. Why should I help you, eh? You tell me that. Because a girl from the village asked me to find her pet. Chloe. Have you seen her? Chloe, is it? Oh, little Lisette's clay thing. Last I saw, the filthy creature was sniffing about the windmill. That girl's old enough to know she should tie her pet up when she's finished playing with it. The windmill. Off with you now. I won't have Idle branded underfoot. Chloe? 
There she is. More brown than white. You're not Chloe, are you, girl? Is that someone napping on the job? I hope they don't mind the interruption. Mm, I think that's a body. To go home. Chloe? Well, why did you already turn into a rock? I only made you do a bit of magic. You knew you were my favorite. None of the other Chloe's had pretty Terrible. hair. It could be months before Dad gives me another one. I have to wait until they're too tired to work anymore. Is that all she was to you? A plaything? Do you really not care that she's dead? She's not dead. She's a rock. That? The crystal's curse? That's just how she died. And now she's gone forever. Giving another bearer her name won't change that. No. D don't say that. It's true. Not without that brand. She would have been just another girl. Somebody's daughter. Just like you. That's it. Bearers don't have parents. They do. Parents that give them away. Families they'll never see again. But you became Chloe's family when you took her in. Remember that. And remember her. I... <laughs> yeah. You should be ashamed of yourself. It's terrible. I'm... I'm so sorry, Chloe. Oh, let's go look for this boy. Hopefully he's alive. Eat me! But if I can help it. Stay back. I'll deal with this. Get him, boy! Sick of toggle. Keep your distance, boy. It's over. said you were being attacked. You're not supposed to talk. Stop looking at me like that. We were only having fun. Having fun? Why are you still speaking? Father will hear of this. My God. Oh. The wolf's work, no doubt. But it's not the wolf that's to blame. Mm -hmm. Someone needs to put an end to this before it happens again. How dare you frighten my son? You slaughter his poor pet and then have the gall to return, head held high. That wolf was trained. Better trained by far than your worthless kind. 
You are the entertainment, nothing more. And we are most certainly not entertained. Nor am I. You'll pay for what you've done. See? I told you, he talks too much. It's not right. I don't like him, father. You're not the branded I bought, are you? How dare you deceive me? Well, the sins of the slave are the sins of the master. Go! Summon the unlucky wretch you answer to. Hmm, why would I allow me to give up the dame? That's weird. That unlucky wretch would be me. I'm my own master. I'm beholden to no one. And I take orders from no one. Lies! Do you think I cannot see that brand on your face? Shut your mouth and listen. Those bearers you killed, they were people. They felt fear and pain, just as you do. And unless you wish to share in their suffering, you would do well to remember we are not your playthings. Father, he's scaring me. How dare you threaten us? How dare you? Can't we just buy another hound? A bigger one, a better one? Of course, my son. I'll have the villagers fetch us another. With jaws powerful enough to nip this branded's head clean off his shoulders. Yeah, you can try. I'm wasting my time. But I can't just leave those bearers lying out there. They deserve a proper burial. That much I can do at least. How many bearers have lost their lives to this nobleman's sport? Far too many if you ask me. Victims of the nobles' games. You must be Clive. How do you know my name? The dame. I'm in her service, like yourself. Never gets any easier burying the dead. Is that what you are here to do? The mistress has me see to it that none are left to the crows. Since you're here, can you give me a hand? Gladly. Let's put them to rest. May their burden finally be lifted. I take it you slew the nobleman's pet? I did. Oh, I expect they'll find another soon enough. And when it gets here, more bearers will die. How can they think so little of sending us to the slaughter? Simple. Because you are not them. Bearers are tools when they're needed, and toys when they're not. And if one breaks, well... You can always buy another. Still, such attitudes don't always go unpunished. Father! Father! Is this your doing? Of course not. Wolves kill. It's in their nature. Invite one into your home. It's going to tear your throat out eventually. Same with bearers. Fed or not, they don't lack for fangs. What will folk do when they bite back, I wonder? The realm's less two murderous bastards, and I won't mourn the loss. Here. For their help. You don't have to. Take it. 
You never know. Our paths may cross again. Till then. Oh, not gonna lie, these last two side quests been pretty good. Yeah. Just changed my opinion on <laughs> the side quest for this game. It might start to get better now. There's said any trouble on the way? None worth mentioning. As I was telling Jill, it's worse than I thought. The capital's crawling with soldiers. And here I am, the deserter come home. Which is why we'll be taking the back door. <laughs> houses. place in the Empire, isn't it? Mm. Brothel. <laughs> mm. Really? Doesn't seem very private. <laughs> Proceed. We'll be using the glass gate tonight, just after sunset. Where the shards are loaded for transport. That is one of the most heavily guarded points in all of Sambrek. 
but not the most, which is a start. Besides, I know a shortcut straight to the heart. A shortcut? And how exactly did you come to know about this fatal chink in the Empire's armor? Let's just say I may have attempted something similar before. I may have ended up running for dear life after being discovered by the helmet, but that's not important. Sid, if the Mother Crystals truly are the cause of the Blight... If? You wound me, Jill. What I'm trying to say is, if the powers that be know all of this, why do they sit idle and allow it to continue? In case you haven't noticed, the God-fearing people of this realm and their pious leaders care for but one thing, themselves. And they'll do whatever it takes to hold on to power. The rest of us are just a means to an end. The moment you raise your voice against them, you're decried as an outlaw, clapped in irons and slung in a cell to rot. An outlaw. Whoever controls the crystals controls the realm. But our kind can wield magic without them. To our rulers, we must seem the most convenient of tools and the most dangerous. But what makes them think they have the right to use us? To leave us to die when our bodies are spent? Does a nobleman weep for a broken mug? A torn tunic? Our fate means nothing to them. No, this isn't a battle you can win with words. Believe me, I've tried, but nothing ever gets through. The world is simply not ready to listen. So to hell with talking. If they won't give us a say, we'll decide our fates another way. You can't blame a man for wanting to bring an end to all this, can you? I can't. But what of all the people you mean to rob of their comfort? Are you happy for them to call you outlaw? Sid the outlaw. Ah, that'll do me. <laughs> might at least pretend to take this seriously. Have a little faith, Jill. Even if you don't think much of my choice of digs. It means my deeds will be remembered. I'll gladly play the role of villain. But first, we have a gate to crash. And once we're in, there'll be no turning back. So your best mate ready. The world won't save itself. side quest first. Gentleman with the sword. I cannot help but notice you bear the moon and stars. So you are an associate of the dames? Might I trouble you for some assistance? You'll be rewarded, of course. And who exactly would I be assisting? Oh, forgive me. I am Etienne, a humble merchant, though fortunate enough to count the dame among my acquaintances. I have business beyond these walls, but the guards have grown somewhat suspicious of my comings and goings of late. I was hoping someone might be kind enough to go in my stead. And who better than someone in the employ of the Vale's proprietress? Would you be willing to help a fellow in his hour of need? Sure, why not? <laughs> why not? Marvelous. The task is simple enough. 
pass through the gate and deliver packages to a few of my most valued clients. There are three in total. A grocer, an apothecary, and a distiller. You need only mention that the items you carry are... fresh from the master's table. Nothing dangerous, I hope. Why, of course not. Uh, merely trifles, which folk beyond the checkpoint are keen to get their hands on. And though I cannot prevent you from peeking, I advise that you don't. Strongly advise. No, I really want to peek. <laughs> Seen you around the Vale of late. Oh, don't tell me you've grown tired. With the right constant fancy a drop of the Empire's fresh fish no, and a giant of the sea. I warn you now, I don't sell to your kind, whether you have the coin or not. Where's your master, anyway? Etienne sent me. Didn't know he had his own bearer. Business must be booming. All right. Quickly now, before the guards notice. <sighs> that is no burden off my back. And this... Is for Etienne. All this for a drink? Not just any drink. The very best, specially distilled from our most discerning customers. The guards find that, they'll seize it before you can blink. You keep it well hidden. All right. If Etienne likes it, tell him there's more where that came from. For a price, of course. Of course. I have no business with Brandon. <laughs> well, I have business with you. A package, fresh from the master's table. I do not know you. Where is the merchant, Etienne? Somewhere the gate guards won't be paying him or his affairs any mind. Fine. Hand over the goods and be gone. Nah, they're so polite. <laughs> this is lighter than usual. Brandon, if I discover you have played me false, I can always take it back. You will do no such thing. Your master should cut out your insolent tongue. Had you been the tool of any other man, I would see you clapped in chains. Payment. Take it and get out of my sight. Cigars. Those cigars are worth more than your life. Do be careful. Can you say these are all... There's nothing here for your kind, Branded. Go on now. Shoot. I have a delivery from Etienne. Fresh from the master's table. Why didn't you say so? <laughs> Times are hard. But this here will make them less so. For a while at least. Sorry about the welcome. Meant nothing by it. You wait right here. Tell Etienne I'm a man of my word. Perfume. Oroflam's finest. Just as promised. Perfume, cigars, and spirits. Someone has expensive tastes. <laughs> the question is, how can they afford to maintain them? I suppose there's only one way to find out.
Well then, I suppose you're okay. Ah, you have returned. I believe these are yours. Delightful. The dame will be pleased. You don't say. And would she be pleased to learn what you had to exchange for those items? You mean the crystals? No need to be coy, my boy. <laughs> Why not just tell me in the first place? An honest man wears deception like shackles about his ankles. I couldn't risk you stumbling under the gaze of the guards. After all, we both know the punishment for dealing in unsanctioned crystals. Even such morsels as I provide. And if you don't know what this day's work may have cost you, then, well, I dare say you'll sleep all the better for it. Despite the risk, our friends beyond the wall gladly give their finest and most treasured wares for the paltry crumbs I trade in. I didn't realize crystals were so scarce here. As scarce as chocobo teeth, hence the thriving market for even the scantest fragments. Do you think it vulgar that I profit from the hardship of others? I think you're doing what you believe is necessary. Yeah, indeed. And I don't doubt the dame would agree. A reward for a job well done. I have the goods I was commissioned to gather, and the guards are none the wiser. I thank you. As will our mutual friend when she hears of how you have aided me. I don't know how a bearer came by the moon and stars. Thank goodness I found you. Can I trust you to be discreet? About what? About this. About what I wish to ask of you. About the fact that I, a humble creature, assist the Dame of the Vale in her endeavors. As unlikely as it may seem, there are those within the upper echelons of Sambraquois society we find the Empire's treatment of bearers to be barbaric. All right. But what do you want from me? This town is carried upon the backs of its bearers. And yet many would see their servants starve. Not for the want of coin. Simple fare costs little more than a pittance. But to revel in the suffering of others. A simple act of cruelty. Contemptible though it is, my countrymen would sooner cut off their noses to spite their faces than see their bearers fed. And despite my best attempts at secrecy, my efforts to dole out comestibles have been noticed. Which brings me to my request. The brand upon your cheek affords you a certain freedom. A freedom I could sorely use. Fine. What do you need me to do? Oh, thank you. An extra meal may not seem like much, but it will make all the difference. Here, deliver these, but keep them hidden. Quickly now. What food I can provide goes where the need is greatest. And today, that happens to be the barracks. Three bearers, overworked and underfed, not permitted a moment's rest. It's no wonder so many die before their time. Tragic, true, but do not let anger make you careless. People will view this act of mercy as an undermining of the Empire's authority. Be discreet for both our sakes, and for the sake of those we feed. Oh, and when you're finished, a word in the ear of one of the Dame's girls would be appreciated. You will be staying, then? I'm afraid not. I am expected back in the capital, and have already risked much speaking with you this long. 
Crystal's curse is bad enough. You can't let people starve as well. Are you waiting for it to heal on its own? Hurry up! Looks like now's not the time. You look like you need a rest. as much as I need this. Thank you. I don't eat it here, though. Not where anyone might see. Has it always been this bad? Oh, it was worse before the Chamberlain. I'd be dead without him. Me and many others. That's something at least. I have something for you. From the Chamberlain. Thank you. You need to leave. Now. Please. Brandy! Who told you to rest? Stow those damn flames! And you! If you've got a message for me, out with it. If not, return to your post. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I thought I was gonna talk to him. Next time, if you know what's good for you. Yeah, it looks like you need it. The Chamberlain must have sent you, but alas, my work is far from home. If I don't go now, they'll beat me. You need to rest. But I won't. My wounds to heal and bones to men. And what of your own hurts? Don't wait. As will my hunger. Thank you, but... Poor guy. A drover has more regard for his cattle than the Empire does its bearers. Anyway... Better head to the veil. <laughs> Accident. All right. Are you here for business or pleasure? Business, though not my own. The Chamberlain put me to work delivering food. Ah, 
So he found someone to help him then. Just as well. I hear his friends back at court have been taking a little too much interest in him of late. So he really is a Chamberlain? There was a time when he was the Vow's most illustrious customer. Us girls thought of him as a generous uncle. He was one of the only people around here who seemed bothered by the way the Empire treats its bearers. Rare for one in his position. A fact not wasted on the Dane. A little nudge from her is all it took, and he became the patron saint of Northreach's starving masses. My sisters and I may have lost an uncle, but bearers are being fed for a change, so we don't grumble. <laughs> Much. Glad to hear it. Gives you faith, though, doesn't it? To know there are people out there like him. And you, for that matter. It's no wonder the dame's got a soft spot for you. <laughs> I... better be going. Sergeant's got it in for us two. Where's your commanding officer branded? Don't you know the training grounds are for real soldiers? Hey, you lost or something? Sorry, but the Imperial Guard's got no use for your kind. The infantry always needs more bodies, that. I'm just passing through. <laughs> Don't bloody believe it! The bastard's wearing the moon and stars! That'll be why he's strutting about like he owns the place. The dame laughed when we offered her our protection. You reckon this prick's really worth a couple of the Empress finest? <laughs> I dare say there's ways of finding no. out. How about it, Brandon? Care to show us how you earned that brooch? I'd rather not. Oh, no doubt. Only chivalrous souls that we are. Robin and I need to know the dame's being properly looked after. All right. Fine. If it'll put your mind at ease. Oh, well, just so you know, I won't be holding hmm. back. I suggest you don't either. Take a moment to get ready if you need it. Wouldn't want you whining about an unfair fight. <laughs> Now, let's get the measure of you, shall we? If that's what you want. <laughs> Cocky bastard. All right, let's be having you. Let's see what you got. Oh, and when you go cry on your mistress, Tell her it was Leon who gave you the pounding. <laughs> Use all the dirty tricks you want, Brandon. at Leon. Oh, so it's a real challenge he wants, is it? Fine. Sword up, bearer. Let's have some fun, shall we? 
had a bearer. Win the dame's favor anyway. I know he went to hold my tongue for a start. You got potential. I'll give you that. dealing with the branded <laughs> can I go now Gregor's gash the bastard didn't even break a sweat the dame's man or no he's still a branded that's like the sergeant never hears about this yeah, not after the bullet he gave us for missing drills might be the old side at a point I'll leave you to it yeah good bloody riddance <sighs> At least we know the dames and safe hands, I suppose. Do us a favour. If you have to tell the dame about this, tell her we got a good few hits in, eh? Hmm? <laughs> no. It's <laughs> true. Pride comes before a fall. The Emperor's finest, thrashed by a branded. The sergeant may be a surly bastard, but he had our number, all right? Extra drills, it is. <laughs> All right, let's carry on to the next main story mission. Pivotal moment in the story. Uh oh. The game almost done. Hmm. I mean, I've done all the side missions, right? Yeah. No, I'm good. It always worries me in video games when you see that. Sentry assignment as seriously as you do. This holds well. <laughs> Won't be a first. This may not be such a terrible plan after all. And what exactly is that supposed to mean? <laughs> Only that your last secret shortcut was nowhere near as secret as he claimed. Uh, that's half the fun of it. Life's too short for a perfect plan. Not a plan that'll keep you on your toes, stop you growing old and complacent. Worked for you, has it? Clive, my boy, even life's smallest challenges offer the opportunity to grow and to change. You must embrace these moments, allow them to suffuse your heart with a deep sense of fulfillment. <sighs> Narrowly escaping death at the hands of an enemy is not my idea of fulfillment. <laughs> Something wrong? Not at all. Just wondering if the two of you had finished. <laughs> Right, we make for the Mother Crystal's heart as planned. Destroy it and the whole thing should come tumbling down. And if the passage to the Inner Sanctum is guarded? Then we embrace the moment and use it to grow and change. Come on, this way. Try to stay out of sight. Obviously. Don't worry, the passage is empty.
<laughs> Let's get this over with. Never stood a chance. You want them? The main tunnel. That would be my guess. There are sentries everywhere. Things must come to an end. We might have a bit more company from now on. Captain, two arms! Summon the cannon! Sick of Toggle! Get him! I was talking about earlier. What have we here? <laughs> More insects come to be squashed. You will find my mortar and I only too happy to oblige. Nice. To the talker. Then let's shut him up. Look! 
course, he powers up. No way for anyone to go. Come on. Guard duty's a death sentence in this place. Not that Sylvester cares. Blessing, my friends. Who said being a dominant doesn't have its benefits? <laughs> Sid, this is an ether flood. There shouldn't be one here, should there? The workers couldn't survive this. Well, it wasn't here last time, I can tell you that. Which means we need to be quick. The ether won't hurt us, but I'd rather not find out what it's done to everyone else. Could this be why? Oh. 
<laughs> I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that as a thank you. Look on the bright side. Eh? At least you won't get lost. Opponents will use the ability of Warcry to invigorate themselves, enhancing their performance in battle. Okay. Look at the icon and try to defeat them before they can deal too much damage. Oh, great.
That's where we were earlier, but where to now? Oh, okay. Carry on. Oh, a sword. They replace that wooden door with something a little more sturdy. On the count of three. <laughs> three. <laughs> what happened to two? Ask one. Once more. 
Aye, seeing as you're trying now. As if that was going to keep us out. The crystal's just up ahead. Is it? I can't see a thing. Well, unless someone's moved it. Be big, <laughs> but this there, that's our way into the inner sanctum. Thing is enormous. You'd think they'd have patched that up by now. Sorry, stay there, Empire's in. Wait. You don't mean... My... My little game of hide-and-seek with Bahama ended here. A tragic cost to this remarkable architecture. Don't blame me, he started it. <laughs> but how did he make it out alive? I walked. You should try it. Path of the Goddess. I have a feeling there's going to be a pretty big icon battle here. Maybe the three of us versus Bahama? Oh, that'd be sweet. Okay. He's a pain. You know what to do. You're too slow. 
Solid, solid. When I was in the Imperial Army, soldiers assigned to the Glass Gate would tell stories about something they called the Guardian. Can't say I saw anything like that when I was last here. Then again, I can't say I made it this far. Let's just be careful then. huge it's gonna take effort and Shiva and uh, I forgot what Sid's <laughs> icon is Gamera I think it's gonna take all three of us to take this thing down yep I called it where did that come from yeah. If I had to guess. No. No, that's not Bahamut though. Poor beast. Another victim of the flood.
get him! Clyde, look out! Oh, jeez. She's tired. <laughs> Are you all right? Fine. The inner sanctum lies just beyond. Chances are the palace guard knows we're here. We should move. Not that his sane commander would send his men into a place and wash with this much ether. Clive. If this all works, and the blessing fades, things are likely to get worse for our gang before they get better. Being the last to wield ether will make our talents that much more sought after, by which I mean hunted. I just hope, in the end, they'll see that we didn't have any other choice. That it was the only way to get us to a better place. And here I was, thinking I was the uncertain one. 
luckily, two out of three of us have faith in you. And it all starts here. Time to earn that menacing title. Sid the Vicious, was it? Here we go. Hmm. Not me. We're with you to the end, Sid. Then what are we waiting for? I think we're going to need a bigger sword. Mine's bigger. <laughs> Thank you, Clive. But I meant that figuratively. The core's clearly made of sterner stuff. Tyler's going to have a fix when she hears about this. Stand back. It's about to get cramped in here. <laughs> Oh, 
this is the creature that's been talking to him. Where are you? That is freaky looking. for some reason. Come <laughs> on. 
country. That easy.
There's so much more that we would see. Who is that? Yep, I called it. Oh, great. And he called himself a whole bunch of times. <laughs> Is he charging up? True strength. As you wish. Oh my god, this one's fun so far. Good.
move. Oh yeah. Eat it, buddy. Spirit bomb. Oh no. Oh. Dirty. Teleported. Come on, Ifrit. Get up. Still holding it? Yes, he is! <laughs> Hellfire, baby! He's blowing my mind. <laughs> Breath of fire, oh nice. Hmm. Cool to have. Oh man, who is this? Typhon. Sid know that thing. <laughs> One left. I'll do me. <laughs> Try not to talk. Clive, 
so long, I thought I had all the answers. But then I met you. <laughs> and I learned it wasn't a good death we should be fighting for, but a better life. It's all very well, a man reclaiming his fate. But if he can't choose how he beats it, what's the point? So, I made a choice. Oh, it's gonna take his power. said And grip, let ember glow to kindle flames anew. That's got to be Joshua. Come on, <laughs> holy cow! Said. <sighs> I'm sorry, Clive. I knew it. Had I arrived but a moment sooner. Yes, Joshua. How are you alive? <laughs> Travels have revealed much about you and your ambitions. I know that it was you who tore me from my brother. Oh. And I know that it is his power that you seek. But know this. If you want him, you'll have to go through me. Very well. The breath of mine ancestors. Fill these lungs that I may dispel the songs of suffering. A disturbance. This game is literally blowing my mind as Josh was trying to blow him up. <laughs> 
We agree. No more games. Yeah. Is this another icon battle? We are coming to claim our vessel. And I said no. <laughs> oh my god. He's so powerful. These flames are nothing. You will know what it is to burn. Yours is a fleeting form. I'm not fool enough to think I can harm you. But to protect my brother, I don't have to. <laughs> yes. Can he turn into the Phoenix though? These are not flames of destruction. Have you forgotten already who I am? Let Ultima use him as a vessel? Just try and get to my brother now. Fiend. Yo, guys. <laughs> this game is crazy. Ah, I love it. Oh, there goes the mother crystal. Wow. Just like that. Gav. Help us. Where is he? You'll do. No. Yes. Yes, Gav. No, where's Goots? Bastard. Oh my god. Karen, Tara. Gav, oh, there she is. I'm not without this. It is not among the dead. Shall I send a Stolas? That won't be necessary. Oh, Titan. Oh, 
finest silks from the master weavers of Randela. Come, come, feel its softness. Jump Make a nice steaks, gift for your wife. Sausage, all from greens-fed farm birds. None of the old courses you'll find elsewhere. Here, take a bite. I've got peppers and peas, beans and beets. If it goes in a pot, I've got the love. curative, restoratives, Look what you like, sir. It's all fresh. Pick this very morning. Restoratives, unguents, ointments, poultices, palmatives, curatives, restoratives. Unguents, ointments, poultices. Might I interest you in a potion, my lady? Perhaps a soothing salve to ease the aches of the road? I'm sorry. I wish you well, but may the mothers guide you. Calmatives, curatives, restoratives, unguents, ointments, poultices. Calmatives, curatives, Five years. It's good to see you, Sid. Sid. What have we learned? The bearers are locked up in an old courthouse on the edge of town. And I hardly need tell you who is there to make sure they stay that way. Kuka's private guard. It's a trap, and not a very good one at that. Another? What does he hope to gain from this? I'll have the captives free before nightfall. You do nothing of the sort. Our comrades didn't give their lives for you to get your throat slit in a god's forsaken slum. So those in the courthouse should be left to suffer. That's not what I said. I simply meant it doesn't have to be you who frees them. Stubborn as the old Sid was. <laughs> Just don't say I didn't warn you. You're Sid now, and if anything happens to him, we're finished. We don't know anything. You have to believe us. We'd help you if we could. But you're helping us already. <laughs> Forgive him, my lord. He did not mean to offend. Quiet, you! No sign of Hugo. I'll wager he thinks as highly of his minions' traps as we do. Then this should be easy. Don't hurt us. I beg of you. Quiet means quiet, branded scum. It's going to be all right. I'm here to even the odds. Oh my god. The objections. It's him. The outlaw. Sit here. Should we? Come on. Oh, it's gonna get electrifying. So many 
Thunder. Rama, I'm sorry, that's his name. Clavis Glen, a portion of the icon Rama's essence. Attuning with Rama not only changes the elemental aspect of Clavis magic spells, but also allows access to several new iconic abilities such as Thunderstorm, which rains 11 bolts down on all nearby enemies, knocking them back. Oh my god. <laughs> Rama's feet. What? It's a targeting system? That's sick. Oh, he's got the staff! Oh my god, the wizard staff! <laughs> Rama's iconic feet, blind justice, can be used to launch a barrage of ball lightning. Uh, up to nine targets determined by locking onto them. The lightning will temporarily remain affixed to the target and can be ignited by striking it. Holy... How do I do that? It's a thunder. Power drive. Holy. I'll just stick to these ones for now. Holy. This is crazy. Wonder how many more I'm gonna get. Probably all the powers. <laughs> Seem that powerful though, blind justice. Crazy. Okay. Oh, what is that one? Oh, the lightning bolt. <laughs> Craziness. Let's do it. Ooh. Awesome. Kitten. Oh, of course. <laughs> they brought a pet. Can't have any powers without a boss battle. You'll pay for what you've done, Sid. Those things are fast. We'll have to be fast. Yeah. I'll take this. Oh, 
shift <laughs> <laughs> They'll tell Hugo. Let them. There's been more than enough bloodshed for one day. Thank you. Murderer. All of our friends are dead because of you. Do you hear me? They used us as bait. Bait to lure you out of your stinking hole. All because you couldn't just let things be. What are you even doing here? We never asked to be saved. Did you think we'd thank you? They'll never forgive us. We're all marked now. For five years we fought to secure a better life for our kind. To see that we are treated as equals. Do you not want that? What we want is to be left alone. Every time you show your faces, it is we who suffer. It's all right. I'm sorry. Just leave us be. This is our home, and this is where we will stay. Sid told us this wouldn't be easy. They'll come round. If you say so. We should go. has happened <laughs> I'm still mind blown from what happened five years ago oh and look yeah the crystal's gone so there remains one two three and four so there was five to begin with Dramatic. That night five years ago, we destroyed what for many was a symbol of hope, for a reason they'll never know. We cannot 
blame them for thinking us the cause of their misery. Though it's to give them a better tomorrow, they see only that we've made their lives harder today. Yet the boil must be lanced if it is to heal. I can't help but wonder if we've made the right choice. When Sid said that he wanted to create a world where we were free, free to choose our own path. I honestly don't think it mattered to him if that choice was right or wrong. Only that it was our own. I miss him. <laughs> a world where we can live and die as equals. That's what he wanted. What we want. And that's why I bear his name. It's why we've all chosen to bear his legacy. And I'm not going to let anything stand in our way. Rides over, lovebirds, home sweet <laughs> home. Ah, that's horrible. of the hideaway, or I guess it's the new hideaway. Oh, sweet home. Otto was asking after you. Let's go and see him. Uh, never a dull moment. <laughs> Alright guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, it was a good one. A lot happened. And uh, it was great. I hope to see you in the next one. See you again soon. Peace.